So um, I'm Jean-Philippe Evrard. I'm working for Rackspace in London. Um, I'm working on the OpenStack Ansible project. And um, I'm now the PTL of OpenStack Ansible. I'm uh, David Moore Smart. Um, I work out of Montreal for Red Hat. Um, I'm mostly involved in RDO. Um, so we, we, we build, test, and ship RDO. Um, but I also happen to be uh, working on uh, ARA, which is um, a project that we'll be talking about. Um, so uh, what's ARA? Um, ARA is a, a project that we created at RDO and eventually uh, moved to the OpenStack community. Um, ARA is, um, records the, 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 the results that are, are everything that happens throughout the playbook run, uh, an Ansible playbook run. So you run, so what, one of the challenges that we have is that um, we use Ansible a lot at RDO to drive deployments, to drive uh, infrastructure, to drive, uh, most importantly, CI. And when, when you're looking at you know hundreds of jobs uh, every day, um, and breaks all the time, it's kind of depressing actually. <laughs> but you know that's part of the job. So, but anyway, uh, looking at the Ansible uh, output in the console was not very helpful. Uh, so we tried to tackle that problem uh, in, in a matter of different ways, um, but. None of them really came. Um, none of them really, you know, fully fixed uh, the, the console output for us and made it easy. Not just for me. I, I'm used to looking at jobs all the time, but you know, ramping up someone to be able to troubleshoot the CI was particularly cha challenging. Um, so I came up with the idea of recording everything that happens in an Ansible run uh, in a database, and then put an interface on top of that database to make, um, organize basically all these 50,000 lines of console into an intuitive interface so that you can browse um, what hosts were involved in that playbook, uh, what tasks had occurred, what, were, what was the status and everything. So that made it easier, uh, not just for me, but you know, for the RDO community to, to browse the results of, of their jobs. Um, so, Part, part of the Ansible usage that we do at RDO is a framework that allows us to run gate jobs outside of the gate. So for example, we, 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 we use the integration jobs that are, um, that are running against Packstack and Puppet OpenStack, for example. Um, so we, we take those, those, those gate jobs and we run them with Ansible, with the help of Ansible, outside of the gate, um, but against our trunk development repositories. Um, that allows us to test um, our, our packages, but also helps test the upstream projects themselves. So th there is this type collaboration between uh, RDO and the different deployment projects. Um, and ARA was you know, an important part of that because um, it allows, uh, allows everyone involved in, in the CI of RDO to get up to speed quickly and um, see what's going on. So, um OpenStack Ansible, um, the cycle has worked on improving the gate jobs, making them more consistent across the many repositories that we manage. And one of the uh, work we've done was including ARA, uh, ARA, whatever the name is. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I'm French, so let's say ARA. ARA <laughs> okay. is fun too. <laughs> so ARA, into the... Uh, in, into a workflow and um, what happened is we realized that first it was very helpful for the same usage that uh, Red Hat did and uh, second when we introduced that we realized that the more jobs we had the more scenarios we have because the test coverage in OpenStack Ansible was increasing all the time and that's what we want to focus um, the more we had jobs the harder it was to really get a grip of, on what was failing because we had to go into many different jobs and see what was the failure in that case. And um, ARI um, was modified by one of our team members to include a subunit output. So this way this output could be used in the OpenStack 
um, catering system and an open stack health page. And um, we could now, with an easy web interface, search about all the jobs and see the ARA results that is showing, well, the job succeeded or failed. So it helps us tremendously on, on every analysis uh, we want to do. So on a regular day, I'm checking the, open, the OpenStack health uh, status, and without ARA, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So that is very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So OpenStack Ansible was a, a very um, early user of uh, our adapter of ARA, um, and there was this, there was something between you know, uh, the ARA project and the OpenStack Ansible project that probably wouldn't have been possible if both projects weren't part of the greater OpenStack community. Um, so the, the, they were an early adopter and they, it, re, it really helped ARA grow into what it's, what's, what it's become today. Um, th their use case were, were, were different than what we were doing in RDO. They had much larger, larger scale playbooks against smart hosts and stuff like that. So it was as silly as, um, when we use to generate a report um, for, for RDO, um, ARA allows you to generate static reports so that you can include um, all the relevant data inside your, your CI jobs. So when we would generate the report in RDO, it would take you know, a couple of seconds. But uh, again, when we were trying it with OpenStack Ansible, um, it takes a couple of minutes. So okay, let's, let's, you know, let's work together and fix that. So there were a couple of things like that, and there was this tight feedback loop between um, between uh, the Yara the project and the Open Science Ansible project that allowed, um, it was basically win-win, right? So we, our was improving thanks to uh, just the usage and the feedback that, that they were providing. Um, and they, they were in turn, you know, getting uh, better reports and better performance. And um, so th this collaboration was really um, what probably kickstarted the project. And that would not be an understatement because otherwise, I mean, so we were using it in RDO, of course, but um, now, now it's used all over the place, but it's mostly thanks to the early, very early improvements that we did thanks to the open source Ansible community. Um, I'm, still, I'm still, like, they've contributed a few, a few patch. I'm trying to get them to contribute a little more, but, you know, I, I'm, really, I'm really happy with just, just even the, the contributions that they've did. It's, um, it's, really, uh, it's really appreciated. Uh, it's awesome. Um, so, if you want to learn more about ARA, um, there's, uh, there's stickers if you happen to be at the PDG, but you're going to be seeing this interview like a couple of weeks probably, so I just said that for nothing. Um, but if you want to learn more about ARA, uh, there, we are on the IRC on Freenode in Pound ARA. Uh, there's also a Slack channel now, so uh, uh, otherwise it's on GitHub, uh, git, github.com uh, slash openstack slash ARA. Um, and yeah, that's it. On our side, we're also available on free nodes on hashtag OpenStack Ansible, um, OpenStack dash Ansible to be precise, and um, github.com slash um, OpenStack slash OpenStack Ansible is the first reference that goes to our documentation and explain all the repositories we have, all, all you can do with OpenStack Ansible. Thanks a lot for your time, GB yeah. and uh, Rich. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.